Hi, I'm Shoshana Goldstein from Joy Moose Pilates Studio here in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching my video. Today I want to talk about the guidelines and some exercises that are appropriate for osteoporosis. Pilates can be great for strengthening, flexibility, but you also have to watch out for certain movements. So in osteoporosis, we're looking to prevent any future fractures. So this is the reformer. It's based on a spring system. So it's lots of weights here. So the first exercise I'm going to show you is called the footwork. What's important here is to make sure that your spring setting is not too heavy because that compresses the spine. So we press out and in. So I'm putting weight into my bones, but it's not too heavy. The next exercise is the hundred. So whenever an exercise is, tells you to curl up your head and chest, if you have osteoporosis, you want to keep it down. So grabbing the handles, bringing your legs up, and reach, you're going to keep your head down and just do the pumping portion of the exercise where we breathe in for a count of five and out. And in and out. And let's put those down. From the mat work I'm going to show you here, again, whenever your exercise requires you to lift your head and chest up, you want to keep it down. This is called the ab series. So I'm going to keep one leg higher and my head down. The next exercise, again, I keep my head down. And so on. When you come up off the reformer, make sure you come up from the side and then slowly come up. Another important thing is that you should never forward bend because again that can compress the spine and cause fractures. For example, this is called spine stretch forward. You inhale and you would exhale and bend. That's not appropriate for someone with osteoporosis. Also rotation can be ill-advised. Another exercise position that would be great is being on your side. Now in this position, line yourself up with the back edge of the mat, bring your hand to the front for support, and rest your hand into your head. Then bring the legs to the front corner. You're going to take that top leg, draw in those abdominals, and kick forward for two, and back for two, and kick, kick, and back, back. What you're trying to avoid is wobbling forward and back. If it's difficult, bend your bottom leg. And again, kick, kick, and back, back. You can do 10 sets of those. And then the next one is up, down. Knee facing forward, you're gonna lift the leg up and drag it down. Good, and then we can go into small circles. And reverse and then inner thigh lift. So I'm going to bring that top leg, bend it, draw the bottom leg up off the mat, and lower. And lower it down. And then just switch sides. And that's the side leg series. Now I want to show you an exercise that also could be done on the back. So it's called one-legged circle. I'm going to have one leg bent for support and the other leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee as much as you need to to have your knee over your hip. And then you're going to cross into the body around and up. Small circles, drawing those abdominals in so your hip, hips don't go wobbly from side to side. And then you're going to reserve, reverse, sorry. Five in each direction. Bend the knee, lower it down. Notice that my head is down, and circle around and up, circle around and up, five, and then reverse. Nice. 
I want to show you some exercises that you can do at home with this, a magic circle. You can purchase it on Amazon and it's probably around $25 to $30. So first I want to show you some exercises that you can do for your arms. So bring the power circle in front of you, or we call it a magic circle, and you're going to squeeze and then reluctantly bring the arms apart and squeeze with the palm of your hand growing taller deep and into those low abdominals and resist the spring. The next thing you can do is bring the arms up and you can lower them down and lift them up. Good thing to breathe. <laughs> Good thing to breathe. Good. The next thing you can do is place the magic circle right on your side of your hip and have your elbows slightly bent, roll your shoulder up and back and press into that spring and slowly release. And keep going like this, drawing those low abdominals in and getting taller, taller, taller. Shoot the top of your head to the ceiling, feel your muscles engage in the back and release. And then you would do it on the other side. So now I want to show you some things you can do for your inner thighs. Place this magic circle above your ankle joints. Make sure it's even. Now when you have osteoporosis, we want to make sure that you don't fall to cause any fractures. So it's important to hold on to a surface. You can hold on to the wall. Something that's sturdy. So now the, the magic circle is between my ankles and I'm going to weight shift over to one side. Holding on to the bar, I'm going to squeeze the magic circle, feel the inner thighs, feel the abdominals, feel how I'm growing taller using my low back, and then resist the spring. Press, hold for three, hold for two, hold for one, and resist. You could do ten sets of each of these, and then you would easily just switch to the other leg. Squeezing for a count of three, and then reluctantly let the spring release. One more and all the way.